Welcome for this weekly recap for the blockchain news. If you are new here, I'm Julian and on Ido Blocks I teach blockchain development. This week we have a special Black Friday deal where you will be able to buy the Eat the Blocks Lifetime Pass that gives you access to all our courses for $597 instead of $2,000. That's a saving of 70% and it's only for Black Friday. And if you miss the Black Friday, you can also get the offer for Cyber Monday, but only if you register for the mailing list. I will put the link down below. It's the second week in a row where Ether goes down. It comes in the wake of the infrastructure bill in the US, which contain anti-crypto provision. As Ethereum is going to switch to proof of stake in three to six months, it's not recommended to get into Ethereum mining right now. There is a new version of Watch the Burn, a website to show data about the issuance and the burn of Ether since we upgraded to EIP-1559. The Stellar Seabridge V2 is live on mainnet. Users are able to transfer USDT, USDC and Ether across Avalanche, Arbitrum, Binance Smart Chain, Ether, Phantom and Polygon within minutes and with significantly reduced cost. Polygon announced Polygon Midden, which is a stock-based Ethereum-compatible rollup. Binance completed its integration to Arbitrum. Snapshot just raised $4 million in a seed one. Snapshot is a tool to enable DAO to vote and it's used by a lot of DAOs. Ken Griffith, the CEO of a hedge fund, has won an auction to buy a rare copy of the US Constitution for $43.7 million. It managed to outbid the Constitution DAO, a DAO that was formed to participate in the auction. Augur, the betting protocol, just announced its DAO. The decentralized exchange Saddle has launched a DAO governance token called SDL. A new DAO called CXIP DAO was just created with the goal of letting creators govern and oversee the future of the NFT market instead of semi-centralized marketplaces like OpenSea and Rarible. Its advisory include the artist Pharrell Williams. So let's take a quick pause to thank the Tangle Bulls, a community advocacy group for IOTA, the sponsor of this video. IOTA is launching Shimmer, an incentivized staging network with its own native token called SMR. Shimmer will put the whole development of IOTA into overdrive. Everything that runs on Shimmer will also run on the IOTA mainnet. It's a bit like Kusama on Polkadot, but fearless and with a scalable DAG infrastructure. The native token of the Shimmer network will be given for free. It will be the biggest airdrop in crypto history. If Shimmer reaches only 10% of the market cap of IOTA, it will be a $400 million airdrop. To receive some SMR token, first download the Firefly wallet, link in the description, and stake your IOTA tokens. The airdrop will only last for 90 days, so getting now, well, you still can. Anyone is eligible. Every 10 seconds, you'll get one SMR token for every Myota staked. The earlier you stake, the higher your percentage of the initial supply. The market cap of DeFi went down this week because of the decrease of the Ether price. The DeFi protocol Akala has won the first ever Polkadot parachain auction on Thursday. Yield farming and DeFi are coming to Bitcoin via a new Bitcoin DEX called StackSwap. This comes after a major upgrade on Bitcoin that adds smart contract support. Gemini, the cryptocurrency platform and exchange funded by the Winklevoss brother, has just announced $400 million in funding. Consensus has just raised $200 million. It comes just six months after it already raised $65 million. The investment fund Volkri announced a $100 million DeFi fund across blockchains like Avalanche and Solana. Any EIP author or co-author can mint an NFT proving they took part in improving Ethereum. For the first time ever, Ethereum was listed as a payment auction on Sotheby price table during the auction of two Banksy paintings. Adidas has released its first NFT through a platform called POAP. The terms of service surprisingly states that Adidas maintains ownership for all the NFTs, defeating the whole point of NFTs. Time and Galaxy Digital partners to launch a weekly newsletter called Into the Metaverse. Celsius Network, a centralized platform for crypto lending and borrowing, has doubled down on its Bitcoin mining investment, adding a further 300 million. This makes Celsius one of the largest Bitcoin mining firms in North America. 
Defender, a product of OpenZipling, launched last year as a platform to securely automate smart contract operations. OpenZipling just announced that it's now free for teams. Gelato, an automation protocol for smart contract, just released Gelato Ops, an easy to use user interface to use the protocol. In terms of use case, some examples are harvesting yield vault every day, paying at reward daily, topping up contract balances, or petting Aave Gochi every 12 hours. Gelato will charge 0% fees until the end of 2021. Parading just released Multi Faucet, a faucet that works for Robston, Kovan, Goli, and Optimism Kovan Testnet via Twitter sign in. It can distribute Ether, Wrap Ether, DAI, and ERC721 NFTs. And before we finish today's video, make sure to sign up for our Black Friday deal, link in the description. That's it for today. Have a good week.